Hey guys, welcome to Rusty Rails. Today we are going to be weathering our lurkers and making them look a little more realistic. Stay tuned. Welcome back, it's Pure Cold, and today, like I said, we are going to be weathering some locomotives. For anybody who doesn't know what weathering is, it is the art of taking a loco, it's going to look all plasticky and glossy and shiny, spraying it using certain techniques and methods and using powders and paints and whatever, essentially making it look a little more realistic, like in the photo. With that being said, I want to say a massive thanks to Rocket Railways, the link is in the description below. They are literally the one-stop shop for all your model railway needs, from trains to locos to accessories to everything. These guys will have it. Make sure you hit them up, the link is in the description below and once again, thank you to Rocket Railways. So here we go, this is what we're going to be modelling, it is a class 56, I bought this pretty much exclusively for this video, so please, I hope you enjoy this, and if you do, make sure you subscribe and leave a like, thank you. Okay, so these are the paints we're going to be using, a smoke, a brown and a NATO black. The black helps dilute the brown if it's too much. Uh, this track rust is just a powder, these are amazing if you don't have an airbrush and to make the details pop we're going to be using this black wash. Okay, and alongside those I will be using nail varnish remover, water and a few cotton buds just purely because they help with everything. And these are the brushes we're going to be using, a fine brush, a makeup brush and a sort of soft tip applicator, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't do makeup, sorry. So um, yeah, in a nutshell we're going to start off with the wash and yeah, paint basically all the details like so. Um, and then go in with the cotton bud, now the cotton bud is good if you want to do streaking effects, maybe use a sponge and dab it if you just want to make the details pop and you don't want streak effects but I am going for a grimy look so yeah here we go I'm gonna be doing the uh, fan ports I'm gonna say exhaust and the fan ports and again just applying and then removing with a tissue um, just going along with the with the streaking effect doing inside the grills now I am really hammering this um, dark wash and making the details pop and you can see there the above uh, the above sorry is the before and that is the after and you can see it really does actually make a difference so uh, I, I am going for a, a a heavy effect so take a break there have a drink and this isn't sponsored by Capri Sun I know there is a lot of it it's sponsored by Rocket Railways so you can see the smoke effect is like dark but not fully dark it's like a transparent darkness and it is great for creating smoke like so around the grills around the air intakes anywhere where it get dirty and mucky it is it's an amazing little trick and I don't know why more people don't use it so go lightly you see how many passes that took for me to create that one little streak do that like seriously it is better to do 10 passes to achieve the effect than do it all in one pass because you're just gonna yeah, you just don't want to overdo it and then ruin it all in one go. So that is the end of the smoke, even though I've made it look super grimy already, it's time to make it look even more grimier. The brown is what I use and you can see here, again, it takes multiple passes before you start really seeing the colour pop through and that's how you want to achieve this effect. Now I screwed up royally here and I touched and didn't let it dry and that's why the paint is picked there. So learn from my mistakes please. Now um, yeah, you can sort of see it here but this next shot you will really really see how much that one there you can see how much the brown contrasts against the black so go lightly and still it'll feel like you're overdoing it it's crazy crazy so do the front and the back because remember you've got to do all around the logo it doesn't look right now the rust i do it by essentially dabbing it onto where i want the rust to be and then once the rust is off my brush i'll go back and i will brush over and sort of not dilute but soften the effect if that makes sense so you can see there I apply and there I soften and it works really well now I'm actually using a black rust here uh, sorry a black powder here uh, I didn't show it before but I use that to kind of create an oily um, or smoky effect alongside the uh, 
the the smoke paint there and it just kind of helps because you can d dilute with water and then you can drag the the powder around to create streaks like so and in a nutshell that is pretty much it just hit it with some matte varnish to lock everything down uh, which i don't know why i didn't film myself doing um, I think it's because I actually let it all dry and then I came back later. So, um, yeah, you can see it's literally fresh off the press. And there we go. That is literally how I do my weathering in a nutshell. Now, this is a medium heavy sort of weathering. We will be doing lighter later. There we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. In the next video, I think we're going to try and achieve a more subtle weathering job on a Class 60. But yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. And let me know if there's any video uh, ideas, recommendations. Leave them in the description below. And I think that's everything. So please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.